Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you guys how to add a root bone to these Mixamo characters and with that how to enable properly root motion with uh, Mixamo animations. So as you can see here, this character has hips and root here. So yeah, now with this approach I can enable root motion to these characters. So yeah, that was with Maya and today as some of you have requested I am going to show you how to do that root bone add-in process with uh, a blender plugin. So this is how you do it. First go to this link I'll put the link in the description below and download as a zip this uh, this uh, blender plugin and after that go to blender and go to file and user preferences and here go to add-ons and use this install add-on from file and go to the download so the downloaded location of that zip file you just download it and select it and yeah double select it, double click it and press this install add-on from file I'm not going to do it again because I have already done that so yeah after that I shouldn't have closed that go back to that again and here when you go to these categories and all in the add-ons enable you can enable that plugin with this tick mark enable it okay now we have this mix some more plugin right here so then let's download a mix some more animation with the root motion to test this out so this is the animation I'm going to use so before that make sure that you have selected one of these default characters because if you have some other custom character that you have uploaded with the with a root born then you would have problems when importing to an unreal so therefore it, it's always better if you have selected one of these default characters and then download it so I have already downloaded it here and after downloading it put it into a folder I have put it into this downloads and test folder so this is that animation and here I'll create another animation uh, sorry another folder and I'll call it converted and go back to blender and here I'm going to use well I'm going to enable this whether to transfer rotation to root motion well I don't think I need to use transfer rotation so therefore I'll keep it disabled and here I'll click under advanced options and I'm going to enable use X and use Y I don't really need to transfer the Z motion into the root bone but if you like you can do that as well and here I'm gonna click this remove namespaces and I have given the hip name as hips uh, I don't know that whether they are necessary or not I just do them because last time it worked and also here you have another option called use Unreal Engine Bone Names and if you want you can do it like that as well but uh, when you do that this skeleton hierarchy names going to be a little bit different from the what I already have therefore I'm not going to enable it but if you want you can enable it no problem 
so right after that you have to select the input path and for that I will select give this path and make sure there is a slash at the end and for the output path I'm gonna give this converted and accept and then I can press this batch convert so here if you have put multiple animations they will also work but uh, for now I have only one animation but no problem okay one file is converted now let's go here now we have this file the converted file now let's import that into unreal and see I'll create a new folder night I'll name it blender and import it here let's create a new skeleton to be safe right now we got the animation so let's first check the skeleton yeah as I said you have this root bone and the hips and a spine just like I did with Maya and let's check the animation this is the animation yeah animation plays perfectly let's check the root bone yeah as I said as I wanted the root is moving right underneath the character just in the way I wanted so yeah that's all I wanted to do for today and in the future episodes I'm going to use this method and import all the attack animations and that's available with the mix ammo we have these many nice animations with root motion enabled I'm going to use all of them and make my combat system look nicer than the one I already have and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me and if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com code like me and you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as I have explained in this section so right see you in the next episode goodbye